Hey everybody, Regan Hagstead here with Mortgage Success Blueprint. And today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about the ideal file flow and kind of clear job descriptions. I think this is one of the biggest things in our industry that trips people up, gets people off track, makes them inefficient. And so I think it's definitely worth spending some time considering and looking at how am I doing it? Is there something I can do better? And what I always wanna start with is how do you build a business not do transactions, right? Too many times if you look at your own business or you look in the mirror or you look at mortgage companies, they're focused on doing a deal. How can I get this deal done? They're not building a machine, they're not building a conveyor belt, they're not building a business, they're just doing one thing at a time every day. And their sole focus is that one thing. The reality of it is, you build a business, everything becomes on autopilot. Clients come in, everyone knows what to do, it just goes through the process the way it should, next thing you know the loan closes, you're gonna have happier clients, everybody that works at the company is gonna be happier, and ultimately you're not just gonna be chasing transactions, you're gonna be actually running a valid, legitimate business, which is the goal. And that's really based upon, in my opinion, having an idea and making sure everything is done the same way every time. So if you have an idea of this is how things should go, you got to ensure that every loan, every client, regardless of size, FHA, VA, conventional, it's got a second mortgage, you got to ensure that it's done the exact same way every single time. And the people involved from your processor to loan officer assistants to underwriting to the actual loan officer themselves, they need to do the same things every time. So if the first time the loan officer pulls credit and puts files in an e-folder, but then the second time the processor's handling all the docs in the e-folder and reorganizing stuff, that's an inefficient process. Nobody really knows what they're doing. You're back to how do I get this loan done and just closing transactions. That's not running a business. And I know it might be hard at first. If you don't have a system like this initially or, or right now, it's gonna be really hard to kind of break those habits. But if you're an originator, you need to say, okay, my job is to do X, Y, and Z. Now I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z the absolute best I can on every single file. And beyond that point, I'm only gonna step in if it's a massive problem. And then we're gonna pass it off to the next stage. And that next person is gonna do A, B, and C every single time without fail. And you ensure that by doing it this way, everybody knows what they're doing, but everybody gets really good at what they're doing. Right? I mean, if you're only doing five things on every single file, how good are you gonna get at running DU? You're gonna become a DU master, right? You're gonna know, oh, well, th this debt ratio, LP is the one to use because you do it every time. But if you do it on some files but not on another, it just becomes chaotic. And, you know, I, I'm a big sports guy and I think that, you know, sports in a lot of ways with what we do can kind of translate. And I'll give you an example. Like, I don't really care who, what team you like, but let's just say New England Patriots, right? When they call a play, Tom Brady snaps the ball, and he's either going to throw that ball to the guy he's supposed to throw it to, or he's going to hand it off to the guy, and the guy's going to run with it. Well, if he hands it off, and one of the offensive linemen misses a block, and the guy gets tackled, you don't see Tom Brady running in and trying to block that guy. No, he's done his job. It didn't work out, and he's on to the next play. Too many times in our business, we have an all-hands-on-deck mentality. You know, client comes in, contracts accepted, and now everybody on the team is saying, how do we get this to closing? And nobody really knows what, you know, whose job responsibility is. So they have like the, I heard an old saying one time that I absolutely hate is, it's not your job, it's everybody's job. Well, that's not really the case. You know, everybody needs to get really good and specified at what they're supposed to do. And if you can create kind of a conveyor belt, and I don't mean an impersonal, throw them on the line, they're just nothing but a loan number as far as your clients go, but I mean like a conveyor belt type system. Loan comes in, this person does this, this, and this, passes it off to this person that does this, this, and this, and so on and so forth, your clients are gonna be happy. It's gonna be easy on them. They're always gonna know what's going on. They're always gonna know who to talk to for specific things. You're, as an originator, gonna have more time because you're only doing what you're supposed to do. And, and I think if you establish this early on, that's what's gonna be one of the things that can really open up doors, free up time, and allow you to do more and more business. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail as to what I see as kind of the perfect flow uh, or job descriptions for each person. So this is just the groundwork, okay? And if you wanna continue watching, you're gonna start seeing exactly how I do it on my team and how I feel like every originator should do in some way, shape, or form.